This conference okay. will now be recorded. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for attending. Um, as you know, we, uh, we have been called to the town council tomorrow to talk about the fly we had sent out. Uh, I don't know if you had a chance to read the newspaper. Uh, I thought it was just a flyer inquiry, but I guess it may have been misunderstood by some people. But in any event, this is where we are. Um, I want Tim to, if he could, give the uh, the order of events that brought us to the flyer, and then I'd like to make a few words afterwards. Tim? Sure, Joe. Thank you. So. Um... I think just important for us all just to review the chronology of, of uh, this, this particular effort. Um, you know, we, when we understood that um, the business application and nonprofit, let's make it clear, we only speak for the business side, although quite often we're harmonious with the nonprofit side of the world as well, but we don't speak directly for the nonprofits or their application. Uh, but when we started talking about or understood that um, you know, the application was once again going to be discussed at the town council meeting. We felt it best, I say we, meaning um, I, I gave Joe a call. I said, you know, I, I think it's time we have businesses represented in chambers because, you know, we know that the council, or at least we, uh, our interpretation is that the council was struggling in terms of, you know, how much to appropriate to the small businesses. There's been, you know, support across the council for small businesses. It's, it's a matter of how much. And we have from the very beginning, and I think consistently have advocated for trying to determine the need in the business community and nonprofit community before any monies were allocated. And then of course we've seen money allocated before that need has been determined. So, uh, you know, Joe and I uh, spoke and, and felt, hey, it's, it's a good idea to have businesses represented in chambers. So how do we get the word out to the businesses? Well, let's put together a marketing piece that talks about what's going on because the businesses in many cases are not up to speed as to what's going on and the status of the conversation that's been going on for quite some time. But, um, so we put together the flyer and um, uh, we all reviewed that flyer at our June 6th EDC meeting. Um, Gary had um, recommended one uh, uh, small change that we made and we started disseminating this, the flyer with, with the best of intentions and that is to get businesses in the council chambers to talk to the council about their particular pleas. And, and that's what the intention of the flyer was. So I think what's transpired since is, is um, um, a little concerning because you know we've worked harmoniously with the council for on everything, frankly. And um, all of a sudden some councils are interpreting this as if you know it's, it's some barbarous attack of some sort, which it's not, and it certainly was not intended to be. So um, that's the genesis of it. That's the timeline. That's what got us to where we are now. And I do think if you haven't seen the stories in the paper over the weekend or even, the, you know, today's paper, um, you know, I, I, I don't know, I'm bothered by the fact that it seems to me that the paper is trying to stir up. They're trying to, you know, create this dust up over this that um, I don't think is necessary. And I, I'm a little uh, concerned about some of the, the interpretations some counselors have had over the flyer. Again, its intent was simply to have the businesses that are the subject of discussion regard, you know, revolving around the application in the room to tell their stories and understand, uh, you know, what, uh, you know, what, uh, um, what the council's up against trying to make those decisions. And um, I think that's, you know, very, very worthwhile. And, I, and uh, of course, we all supported it at our meeting. So that's kind of the chronology, Joe, and that's the. Uh, you know, that's the uh, the background. Okay, thank you. Uh, Joe, Joe, can I chime in here? Um, uh, let me just say, uh, first of all, that this is being recorded. And, um, you know, we just want to make sure everybody's aware that this is being recorded. Yes, you I'm going to say something? <laughs> no, I, I'm going to go to the flyers and, and passing them out. <laughs> if everybody recalls about three meetings ago, three or four months ago, we were on a track to have this approved for the small businesses. And at that time, the concern was that would we get enough notification, you know, to the businesses through social media. And I volunteered to go door to door and hand out the flyers. 
but it was at that point it was just we were assuming everything was going to be approved and we were going forward and i think that evolved and it's it's i mean the flyers came out because one of the problems with with this whole um pandemic shutdown is most of the media has been on restaurants and we know that we have I, something like 20,000 small businesses in town that are machine shops. You know, they're, they're small businesses. They're, you know, they're, they're not restaurants. So I, I always thought it was important to get the word to them. And, and quite frankly, I'll, I'll take the, the shot for, for passing out to flyers. It was my idea. And I still think it's a good idea. I think the businesses should know and should understand what is happening with the uh, American Rescue Money. So, and that's the way I stand. Okay, Jim, well, thank if you. I could just add to that briefly, um, uh, I, I, I think we might have, uh, some of the folks who uh, relied on social media to get the word out might have been, um, um, I'm not going to question their judgment, but it's it, from my experience in handing about six of these out. And talking to these businesses, manufacturing businesses, none of them were restaurant business. They were either manufacturing business or some other type of construction business or service business. Not a single one were aware of the ARPA funding. Um, not a single one was, they were remotely familiar with what, what ARPA funding in general was all about, and, it, and not all of them. And certainly none of them were aware that the ARPA funding was uh, being discussed in town. Now, folks can certainly say, well, it's you know, it's been uh, been discussed in the town council meeting for a number of months, but, um, you know, they run businesses and they have families and they're not on social media. So I think the town, what we did is took a look at some uh, a deficiency in the messaging system. And to your point, it, it was very effective because they were very interested in getting more involved in understanding the process, what was available to them. And every single one talked about the damages that the financial damages that they've seen during the COVID that they have not been reimbursed. So they were very interested in pursuing this. So it was very effective. I thought it was a very good idea and a, it, it supplemented the already communi the communication uh, chain channels that other people have already been using. Yeah, you know, that, that's the response I got. A lot of these small businesses had no idea that the town council was even talking about it or that it potentially could be available to them through their application. And they were excited to hear that that we were even thinking of. Well, first of all, I'm glad of the input because, again, that just reinforces what we were trying to do. Um, basically, um, we wanted the businesses there for those stories, number one. And also, uh, what we would like to do is move the application process because, again, what we've said from the beginning is that we are unaware of how much what the need is out there. Uh, and we thought it would be a good idea to get, at least get the application out and make it known that uh, the application doesn't commit to a funding, it's just an application. And part of that application process was at one point, I don't know all the current facts, but at one point it did ask if they received any other COVID relief funds and those funds were supposed to be deducted from whatever they were eligible from, from whatever Hub, uh, Wall and Fritz uh, formula was gonna be. So there wasn't gonna be a case of some businesses double dipping. But again, the flyer is what, what's on, on, the, uh, on the agenda. And that's basically where uh, I'd like to keep exactly what you've been saying this morning is the conversation. Now, whenever you go for in front of the council, uh, they may, you know, people may ask questions or may make statements uh, relating to other factors. That's interesting, but that's not basically what, what this hearing is about. The hearing is about this flyer, and as long as they understand the intent, I, I think it's bygones be bygones. As uh, Tim said, uh, the, the papers maybe uh, sees a story there that they could rev up. But again, uh, just from reading what was in the paper, I could see that some people were grossly misunderstood what we were trying to do. 
And hopefully oh. my comments and Tim's comments um, will clarify that. And maybe this will be a quick meeting because again, there was nothing uh, in that flyer that wasn't said publicly at town meetings. Uh, we were just trying to clarify it. Uh, if some of the wording was, was uh, misinterpreted or used wrong, uh, then I apologize for it. But basically, the, the, the focus, it has to be on the, the small businesses and the people that need the money, not who said what to who, when. Uh, this is an important uh, crossroads in our town, I feel. Uh, we're all volunteers. The town council is doing an earnest job. Uh, I think we all have the community at heart. And I think that's what needs to be focused. And to throw words at each other or try to get into an argument that doesn't exist. Uh, like I explained to somebody a long time ago, um, we, there's no need for arguments here. We're all town servants, and that's what we're, we're trying to accomplish. So again, uh, my, my thing that I'd like to make clear is that when we're talking to the town council, we want to stay focused on the flyer. Uh, if some try to take the conversation in another direction, uh, that's up to them, uh, but those are questions that don't need answers because in all honesty, uh, there's nothing wrong here. We've done nothing wrong. What we've done is in public. Uh, if the councils would like other things answered, that's fine. But basically we want to stay focused on, on the flyer and making it clear. So this rift that seems to be uh, in place now goes away really quick because there really is no need for it because the only one that's suffering is again the business community and the people in need of the money because again uh it instead of talking to us this week i would hope that they would be talking to the businesses uh again that's all we're looking to do is clear to clarify the the uh the need that's out there yes no. yeah uh, gary i'm gary. sorry yeah no um my only question is and and again, it just comes down to, uh, I agree with what you're saying with regards to the flyer. One, are the applications going out? Um, you know, we, we signed off on things in February looking at an application, rough drafts, and we're in June. So how are they supposed to know what the total dollar amount is needed if the applications never go out? Well, and those are the things I would hope that would have evolved from the businesses uh, making their presentation and the councilmen, council people hearing it. Uh, again, this would have been a win-win for everyone. Because the businesses would have a say and the council would have a better understanding and appreciation of the need that's out there. So again, I really, uh, uh, I, I can't say it's strong enough. I apologize if it was misunderstood. Uh, and, and, and I think it's time to move on. But again, I think the thing is, we need to focus on the business community's needs, and, and I'm hoping that's where we go from here. Now, just to give you a setup uh, for the meeting, uh, and I'll open this up for questions, but I thought it would be good if, unfortunately, I'm going for an operation tomorrow that was pre-scheduled, uh, and I won't be able to be there. I, I, I'd love to be there because I just would. Anyway, uh, so anyway, the, the table sits three people, of course, Tim has to be there. I was thinking retention, Gary, if you would be there, and the chair of uh, of planning and zoning, Hank, if you would sit at the table, and the rest of you, is, please attend, sit right behind them, and you have the floor mic for your comments. But please, it's important for you to be there, and it's important for you to to uh, to, to 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 voice your your concerns and your perspective. Uh, it can't be a town council and Tim meeting. It has to be, uh, and to be honest with you, I, in my mind, I think it should be a very short meeting, uh, basically because I really think it's nothing more than a misunderstanding. And if, if someone tries to, to read into it, maybe again, we have time to clarify it. But again, uh, they could see from, from the article in the newspaper, both Tim and I uh, were focused in what was said today. There was nothing, uh, there was no other reason for that flyer but 
to engage the business community to clarify their financial situations so that the uh, decision makers, which is the town council, would be able to make an informed decision. And that was the intent of it. And I will stop here and have anyone else who has anything to say, please speak up. Have I, uh, Joe, I have, I have no problem with being there, but are we going to have anybody from marketing? Uh, well, uh, uh, Bob Fitz is going to be there. Well, the reason I say that is because we're, we're positioned in, you know, it was the, another another way of marketing the program. Um, sure. So, yeah, let we'll me make sure that we're there. Tim, I would imagine you'll you'll probably take the lead because you're a lot level headed than the <laughs> certainly than me sitting up there. <laughs> but I'll be there. And Hi, again, um, what is uh, Tim? Tim, can I get a sack of the flyers with the uh, cancellation across the front? The postponement. The postponement. Yeah. Because I've got some people to see, and I don't want them showing up if there's not going to be a vote, um, you know, um, to to the town uh, small businesses. So um, I, I just got to do a little backtracking. Yeah, for for everyone's just for clarity, so, someone's got to someone's got to mute, get some background noise or something. I just just for clarity on everybody's part, so. Um, tomorrow night is not a discussion about the business application for ARPA that has been postponed to a future date. I think it is the in intent of the council, I believe, to discuss it at their meeting on January, excuse me, on June 28th. Um, I think it, it may um, be contingent upon the availability of, uh, of, the, um, of the consultant. Um, so tomorrow night is, is the council asking us to address the flyer. As Joe has mentioned, so that's the only item that I'm aware of. Um, I, I want to share with everybody as well that um, I received an FI, FOI request from Councillor Fishbein uh, with 10 items on it, um, and we are in the process of trying to fulfill that. It basically is it's asking for um, I won't read the whole thing, but you know every communication about the flyer, uh, everybody who had anything to do with the flyer. It also asks for the last five years of my annual reports. That's the easy part. All I had to do is go into the files and get those. But, you know, Stacey's had to dig through emails upon emails, but, you know, just to find the ones that may talk about the flyers. It asks for uh, EDC agendas for the last X number of months and so forth. So um, we, are, we are obviously in the process of fulfilling that. I'm hoping to get it out, frankly, today or tomorrow morning. And I'd like the council to see it before tomorrow night's meeting, only in case they have any questions that come from that. And I certainly don't want anybody to draw any inappropriate conclusions if by chance they don't have that FOI request fulfilled, i.e., why is why are we delaying? We got the request last Thursday, so uh, it does take some time, and we had to we had to stop other things we're doing in order to fulfill it. So we will do our best to get that out and done. What, I share that because A, you need to know, and B, it kind of sets the tone, right? It sets the tone that, you know, if, if we're truly partners in this whole thing, then why do they need all that stuff? Why is he requesting all that stuff? But that's one counselor, and uh, we will fulfill it. Um, you know, Gary, you had mentioned earlier, you know, when is the application going out? Well, uh, you know, that's obviously to be determined, and, and you know, in, in our efforts to try to take and, and be consistent, and we have been consistent in simply saying to the council, please, let's get an application out to establish or to attempt to establish the need in the community before monies are allocated. Obviously, when five million was allocated to community pool, before an application goes out, that leaves the door open to potentially having other projects funded before the application goes out, which is why, again, we wanted to make sure businesses could get in front of the council. Jim, to your point, you know we've we've sent things out on on uh, through our digital channels. Uh, we've we then you know put postponed by the council across the flyer. Had to send that out. So um, and then we are number eleven on a um, I think there's a fourteen item agenda. So um, you know uh, on a sixteen item agenda we're number eleven tomorrow night, which 
I'm going to speculate and say, you know, at a meeting that starts at 6.30, I mean, we're not going to get up too early. So um, we've seen before where we've invited businesses to meetings and as the night draws on, they start, they'll start leaving uh, because it just takes too long. So um, I don't think the intent tomorrow night is to have businesses there unless some want to come. My concern is that some may come expecting the um, the application to be discussed only to find out it's not because sometimes you can notify people and then they don't they don't see the postponement notice right so uh, we'll have to play that one by ear yeah that, that's why I, I wanted to backtrack with with some uh, additional flyers yeah so uh, anyway. I, there's, there's one point I wanted to make clear I guess th two points number one as Tim said tomorrow night it's about the flyer uh, someone mentioned uh, someone getting heated or whatever. Uh, there's no reason for for heat. Uh, if 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 someone really gets worked up, that's not for us to determine. It's not for us to combat. We're not there to be confrontational. Uh, this is the same town council who's approved our budgets for years. It's the same town town council who's told us what kind of a great job we've been doing. It's the same town council who's always supported us. So again, to, to look to see that there may or may not be an argument. Sure, there may be difference of opinions, but again, as adults, we can work those out. So again, uh, there really, in my mind, is no reason for anyone to get hot under the collar, as someone put it. Uh, it's just a discussion. It's clarification. Again, as I said event at the beginning, I really think when things cool down, and hopefully if they read the newspapers uh, and get a better understanding of the intent of the flyer, this all goes away. If it doesn't, well, then the, the town and the community will have to, you know, put up with whatever it is it is. But I don't see it getting that far. Again, I think these are all uh, well-intentioned uh, community servants, and that's where we need our focus. It's not on each other. Uh, you said, he said, whatever's who said. Uh, basically, it's all about the flyer. It's a misunderstanding. And let's clarify. And uh, again, because I'm sure there's no uh, councilman that would not want to hear from a small business. I don't think that's the case at all. So again, these are the same people that has approved our budgets. There seems to be some questions. Hopefully, most of their questions are answered now. But if they're not, uh, the most important thing is everyone that can please show up. It, it, they need to understand that we're united in this, that there was no uh, onesies, twosies. This was a, a, uh, a united vote. A, a, uh, and, and that's basically where we're at. I'm just talking in circles. I, I just really want to put everybody at ease. I don't think it's going to be, I hope it's not going to be, uh, as someone put it, a heated. Uh, it should not be. It really shouldn't. We're all town servants uh, trying to get the uh, the best for the community. So who's going to be able to attend tomorrow night? Um, all right, Patty, Hank, Jim. Uh, I'll be there, Tom. Gary, okay. All right, because Mark, Mark Jingris is out of state as well, so... Joe and Mark is chair and vice chair, unfortunately, are both uh, indisposed. So, uh, all right, that's good. And What's Tim, you, you're, you're welcome to mention that I'm out because of an operation, because I don't want them to get any other idea why yeah. I'm not there, please. Yeah. Well, Joe, I know this is a public venue, but um, I mean, Joe's getting a new need tomorrow. So, all right. So uh, that put, puts a lot of us at, at ease uh, just knowing what it is. Sorry, yeah. Serious <laughs> um, and 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 he, he offered. He says, "Well, if they give me enough medication, maybe I can make it." It's like, no, you can't, Joe. <laughs> yeah, he's so, bad enough without drugs. <laughs> you know, I, I just Ray, Ray wanted to ask a question. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. You have COVID, Ray. I'm sorry. Hey, Joe, I know. No, I, I appreciate it. I just mentioned no, I've been exposed this past weekend. Two people were close to on Saturday. Test both were, had symptoms, strong symptoms, and tested positive. 
in the last 24 hours. So I am home in my office and not coming anywhere in the next couple of days. If anyone from your staff could come, that would be appreciated. Yes, right. We're going to get, try to get someone to come. Hey, Joe, I, several people mentioned they had a one o'clock hard stop and you, we did not approve the minutes from the last meeting. So maybe before we lose a quorum, if you want to I do that. I'd like to make a motion to approve the meetings from the last meeting. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Gary? Aye. Hi. It's unanimous. Hey, Hank and Patty, are you, you guys going to be at the meeting tonight? I'm sorry? Uh, I was, there's a, a PNC meeting tonight. I didn't know if Hank and Patty were going to make that. Uh, no, I, I will not be there tonight. Can you say when is it again? It's tonight. It's 37. So the, the two items on the agenda. Um, and that is completely optional. Don't feel. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that, that we're we're kind of getting off the of, but that's that's all right. One of them is the uh, the approval for the car wash um, next to Colony Diner on Route Five. Um, so that's up for approval tonight, um, which we've worked with uh, for a while. I think it's worth supporting. And the other is is conversation on the um, uh, density in the incentive housing zone. Um, Again, nothing that we have a presentation for or anything like that, but those are the two items that uh, most impact, uh, you know, EDC. And I would have to be there at seven. Uh, the meeting starts at seven. And um, ready to go? Do we need somebody to go, Jim? Is that what you were asking? Yeah, well, I'll be there. Uh, Tim, are you going to be there? I, I will be there, yes. Okay. I think we're good, Patty. If you got, but don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. Yeah. Again, gentlemen, ladies, uh, if you don't understand a question or you don't have an answer for a question, you could just let people know I don't understand the question. I don't I have no answer. I don't know what that question would be, but there's nothing wrong with being honest with people. Now, with that, unless there's anything else, uh, I think we've said what we had to say. Uh, Tim? I, I think we, we're good. Yeah, again, if anybody has any questions, please ask. But, um, you know, from my perspective, it's it's all about, you know, uh, addressing the intent of the flyer and the chronology as to how it took place and why we why we did it. Um, um, you know, interpretations are different, of course, anytime you do something like that. So, Bye. but I think, take care, Anthony. Um, but, you know, that's why we're, we're going to go and, and, uh, and clarify tomorrow. Night. Okay. Could I have a motion to adjourn the meeting then? I'll make a motion I'm... to adjourn. Go ahead, Rosemary. <laughs> I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, thank you. It's unanimous. Uh, hopefully see you all tomorrow night on TV. You're not going to be watching TV, Joe. <laughs> yeah. All right, good luck, guys. All right, we'll see you tomorrow, tomorrow night. Hey, good luck, Joe. Good luck, Joe. Good luck, Joe.